All right, guys, we are at the end of our last Halloween DIY project. And what we're going to do today is we're going to make some Halloween decorative trays. Now, I had two silver trays that I've got a while ago. And um, I found these cute little, um, I guess you can call them pumpkins, DIY decorative pumpkin sticks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the pumpkins off the sticks. They're real easy to come off. And I am going to just take the pumpkin and I am going to hot glue it around the outer edge of the tray. Now I'm going to do a few of them for you just so you can see what I'm talking about. Just so you can get the idea. Basically I am just going to line them up side by side. We're going to go all around and we're going to glue them. So at the end we'll just have a beautiful silver tray and we'll have some pumpkins around it just to give it a little more um bling or not bling i guess you could just zap or to it or something i don't know guys i i just want it to look nice all right guys so i'm gonna get my hot glue gun here and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna proceed with the pumpkins All the pumpkins are added and it is looking good now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our next step which is actually making our mummy cookies all right guys let's go All right, guys, let's get this thing started. Let me go ahead and introduce you to the candy melter that we're going to be using here. I got this from Walmart. This is a Wilton candy melter, and I really like it a lot. You know, a lot of people put theirs in the microwave, but I find this to be a little bit more convenient, and um, I really like it a lot. All right, so we have our candy melts here. We got these from Walmart, and we have the vanilla type because we are making mummies. All right, guys, let me go ahead and put this in the pot. Now, as you can see, I have my candy melts here. I'm going to add these to the pot. I also have some coconut oil, you guys. Um, normally, when you put the melts into the pot, whether you microwave them or whether you put them into your, your melting pot, after you finish, it seems like the candy still, it gets smooth for a minute, and then it like really hardens up. You have to use it right away. But if you add the coconut oil, it stays like really creamy, and that way you're able to add the candy onto whatever item that you're gonna use. You know, a lot of people use it for strawberries, for apples, just all types of things. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, we have melted our candy melts inside of our warmer, and as you can see, it is very smooth and creamy. Now, the only thing with this, guys, now I've done this like a million times, when you don't add the coconut oil, it does not stay that way. So, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil in here, and then I'm going to go ahead and still keep it under the heat, and I'm just going to stir it up. And then that way it will keep this texture. I have done so many projects where I have heated the candy. It has melted. I dip one thing in and then I look around and it's hard as a rock again. So the coconut oil really, really helps guys. All right. So I'm going to just continue to keep stirring this. And then we're going to go ahead to our next step, which is adding our cookies. All right, guys, we have our Nutter Butter cookies here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this. Then we are going to actually dip our cookies into our candy chocolate melts. All right, I got this big <laughs> this big pack here. I didn't need this much. Um, but what the heck, they were on sale and my kids love them. So 
um, they'll get eaten. <laughs> okay, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to dip our um, cookie into our candy melts. And as you can see, I'm using this type of cookie because it has that sort of mummy shape and it just, you know, adds more to the effect. All right, guys, so I got these cute little tongs here and I'm going to take my cookie and I am going to just dip it into the candy melts. All right, so let me go ahead and move the spoon out the way. Let's see, we'll put that over there. And we're gonna go ahead and dip. Now, when I say dip, I want you to dip. I want you to make sure you get enough candy on this cookie. Don't be scared, okay? Just get enough on there. Now, once you got it all in there, we're just gonna take it out and we're just gonna lay it on our plate. All right, guys? All right, and don't worry about it being messy or anything like that because when it hardens, you can always clean it up. So um, that all works out well. And if you feel like you don't have enough on there, what you can do is just take a spoon and just drip a little bit more on there. Just make sure you smooth it out. And you, with this, you really have to work fast because as I said, um, as soon as it's removed from the heat, the hardening process starts. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I got some more cookies here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dip the rest of these. We're going to fast forward and then when we come back, you'll see all of them that have been dipped. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, what we're going to do now, as you can see, we have all our cookies um, candied up there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the remainder of the candy melts inside of a sandwich bag, you guys. We're going to use this like a piping tool. If you are uh, familiar with baking, um, you know, a piping tool is what we use for um, putting our frosting into a bag and then we um, put our piping tool at the very end and then we design our cake but <laughs> we're doing cookies so I'm going to put this into a sandwich bag and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut the very tip of this okay oh I think I cut that a little too big you guys oh I hope that doesn't come out too big nevertheless um, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and then that way you'll make the stringing effect across the mummies and i think i did do this too big you guys oh my god these don't look like strings they look like ropes <laughs> but i am gonna work this out it is gonna work it is gonna work what i'm gonna do um i have some toothpick some long toothpick sticks i'll just take it and, and go across the cookie just to make these big fat ropes <laughs> look like um, strings across the mummies and also i'm going to use my uh, spoon as well as you can see i can go ahead and thin that out a little bit so so guys don't make my mistake um i didn't want to do the whole video over but don't make my mistake make sure that when you have your piping bag that you actually just cut the very tip don't do it too far up or you're going to get your um candy milk icing to come out really thick like i did so um but it's gonna work out here i am positive i'm keeping faith and um that's how we learn guys we learn from our mistakes you know I'm, i've done a million projects i've messed up but then i've come back and i've perfected them and they turned out absolutely awesome so this is a learning tool as well all right guys well let's go ahead and start the next step Hey guys, we're gonna add our eyes and we're gonna fast forward when we're gonna get ready for our setup. Let's do this. All right, guys, we've made it to the end of another beautiful creation here, Creations by Simone, where we create beauty one creation at a time. All right, this is our last DIY Halloween project, and I'm so loving it, guys. The pumpkin platter and the mummy cookies came out great for my first time making cookies i am pretty proud of myself now they were looking a little crazy there for a minute um i had a few hiccups but i fixed them and overall the project turned out absolutely awesome guys that just goes to show you with a little determination and if you just put your mind to it a little effort Hey, it goes a long way. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And I will see you soon here on Creations by Simone. Bye.